The internet is full of bro science, fake knowledge, half information or propaganda. Your quest of reliable, authentic health information ends here. So subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon and you never have to go anywhere else ever again. Hello everyone, how are you today? I'm Dr. Paramjeet and you're watching Dr. Education. Guys, today we are going to talk about Ramzan, which is also called Ramadan, Ramzan. Uh, this topic is important because it's uh, starting very soon and uh, why it is important this is because this period is very important for our Muslim friends and during this period there are certain things which they should know which we should know which doctors should know about how this can affect their health right and Ramzan is very important spiritually also right fasting during Ramzan is what Muslims do. They abstain from specific habits and behavior from dawn to sunset. And uh, this is one of their five pillars of Islam, right? And uh, this Ramzan is, is basically the ninth month of their Islamic lunar calendar and is observed as the month of fasting, right? Uh, all the Muslims are expected to fast, but certain people, certain... Uh, uh, groups are including uh, are restricted are uh, you know are having exemption right like uh, people who are sick who are frail right some pregnant women etc etc depending upon uh, my understanding right but the point is very high spirituality religiosity and personal beliefs are involved in this uh, in this time and it can affect patients it can affect your health and even health behavior and adherence to treatment right and even uh, doctors healthcare providers need to learn how uh, fasting during ramzan can affect the health of their muslim patients right especially those who have a chronic disease right and then they should understand how they can help them uh, achieve safe fasting this is important safe fasting right so uh, point is they sh they should refrain from food drinking water or any beverages or even smoking from dawn till sunset for almost 29 to 30 days married couples are refraining from sexual intercourse and while fasting and during uh, this period Muslims usually just eat two meals a day and one uh, one of them which is when they uh, they end the day at the sunset which is known as iftar iftar and the other one is a light meal before the uh, the break of the dawn which is known as surur or sehri right see there are some benefits of fasting of during ramzan right what are these benefits there are a lot of benefits quite frankly one of them is they actually improve you uh, spiritually as well as physically right physical health is very good if it is done correctly right then it actually strengthens your belief and relationship with the god allah right that gives you a self reflection and appreciation of what blessings you have received from Allah and remembering this actually helps you remember and help people who are in need and also gives you a good self control during this period making uh, so that you can change your health for the better making healthy changes healthy choices so that is good right and obviously all these things happen if you practice it correctly right because annually if you actually train your appetite control then you can actually have a lot of health benefits like weight loss etc right and even uh, losing uh, constantly losing weight or say controlling your cholesterol levels etc it can help in during this period so this also can be a very good time for people or individuals who want to quit smoking because obviously during this period you don't smoke and then you can actually continue that so this is there but <coughs> there are some risks also what are the risks see there are obviously there are several excuses for not fasting during this period for example many people say right that there are pre-pubertal pre children women during their menstrual period post uh, natal bleeding travelers 
pregnant women breast feeding women who believe that uh, their fasting for long hours may harm uh, to their uh, babies they may be exempted right elderly who cannot tolerate fasting mentally disabled people sick people whom fasting can actually aggravate their disease condition they are also exempted but in spite of all these things many muslim patients who have chronic medical conditions like diabetes uh, or even heart disease or other things can actually choose to fast they still choose to fast and this this they may discontinue their medication diabetes patients etc so that can cause issues right in the treatment it can cause changes in their uh, disease control and can even have serious complications now that's where you need to understand because uh, when they discontinue the treatment regimen right with or without the their doctors advice this can lead to a lot of things ranging from dehydration to hypoglycemia hyperglycemia diabetic ketoacidosis and many other complications right so but with careful support and advice along with a, a shared decision making regarding uh, their treatment plans right you can actually minimize the risk and do this fasting safely so obviously whether or not to fast is uh, your decision and uh, but it is important for you to actually get a medical advice to ensure that you do this do this fasting safely so what is the medical advice during this period the best medical advice is a pre ramzan medical assessment right pre ramzan medical assessment should be done right and this will be helpful to achieve a safe fasting the second biggest uh, advice would be to avoid dehydration during fasting which is very very important because most of the time this is the basic thing which actually happens with everyone we'll make a different video on dehydration during this thing right especially one more reason because ramzan actually happens occurs in hot season right so you need to drink ample amount of fluids between iftar and sahri surur right this is also very important also you need to take a balanced healthy diet which is rich in fibers right low in salt and having a low glycemic index it's important not to take a lot of salt a lot of sugars but a lot of fiber so absorbing food we will making a we will be making a video on diet also diet recommendations also right and people who are into exercise who want to exercise during this period during ramzan should actually should be encouraged to do so during the iftar time right during or after the iftar after the iftar time basically and those muslims who want to lose weight basically you need to understand that many people can actually regain right regain the weight very fast after a few weeks after they uh, get back to their original original regime of uh, meals right so you need to understand and discuss this with your dietitian or a doctor so that you if you actually target weight loss during ramzan it can be permanent so these are the things which you need to keep in mind hydration this is very important right high fiber slow absorbing food low in salt low in sugar and if you are losing weight talk to a doctor talk to a dietitian how you can keep the weight right keep losing the weight keep the weight lost after after you stop doing fasting so these are the points which you need to understand so we will be covering these points in details in the upcoming video so make sure to uh, follow this series thank you so much for joining and good luck to all our muslim friends who are going to do going to fast and all our best wishes are with you may allah bless you thank you